Amen. Amen. Mamfundisi, thank you so much for such a powerful prayer. After this prayer, I can tell you right now, I feel like just going bed to bed and uh, taking a rest. It was a powerful prayer. Um, I've just said to those that were here just a few moments ago that it's going to be very hot in the house today. And the reason it's going to be very hot, extremely hot, is that we have the evangelist himself, Ben Mwamba. Ben Mwamba. I don't know how you afford to preach seated, my friend, uh, but uh, these uh, virtual things have taught us things. We can preach seated, we can talk seated. And I know when coming to Thanksgiving, we have the right person here in the studio today. We have the right person in the house today. Um, we have uh, you know, co-chaired quite a number of Thanksgiving together. And I know our lives has never been the same again. And I can definitely give an assurance to God's people today that Ben Muamba is in the house. And indeed, our lives, our lives will never, when we look at Thanksgiving from today, we look at it differently. My brother, you need no introduction. The platform and the stage is yours. May the good Lord and may the spirit of the Lord be upon you as you minister to his people. You welcome on the virtual ministry platform uh, at five this morning. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, Elder Mbinga for that warm and very eloquent introduction. Uh, we, we just want to thank the Lord for this lovely platform. Um, we want to thank the Lord for you. Um, I've, I've, I've ministered with you on so many different platforms and it's, it's purely by the grace of God that he, he has allowed us to be where we are. And we, we, we want to thank the Lord for that. Um, just a bit of guidance. I was told I start preaching at five past five. Now it's ten past. Uh, do I stick to the twenty past, or can I move my fifteen minutes and end at twenty five past? Not that I want to be long, but uh, just let guidance. the spirit let the spirit lead, my brother. Okay, okay. you can take no. the extra three minutes or so. I, I right. stole your three minutes, so you can Thank take from you. my three minutes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Um, we, we, we bless the Lord. I, I greet you all, uh, beloved saints, in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, you know, the, the some lines that we say over and over and over again, and uh, it's as if it's, it's not a real line. Um, but trust me, my friends, uh, this line will indeed uh, be very real and very um, visible to all of us. Um, uh, very soon, my good friends, very soon, our faith shall become sight. Uh, very soon, uh, um, what we believe in will become a reality. Very soon, the clouds will roll back like a scroll. Very soon, the Lord of hosts, this God we have worshipped, almost as if in blindness because we can't see him will indeed come down from the from the um, from the clouds of glory so we just want to bless the lord we just want to thank him we want to worship him we want to adore him we want to lift up his holy name um, today as we are talking thanksgiving thanksgiving is a, is a, is a tricky one and what makes it tricky we we have had all kinds of sermons on thanksgiving and and so it's almost as if everything has been exhausted uh, on that aspect. Um, traditional Thanksgiving, you tell people you have to thank God all the time, and then people say amen, and then you have to go through some problems that people have gone through, and then you say amen, then you are done with Thanksgiving. But allow, uh, allow us today to take a different angle, my friends, uh, a slightly different perspective, if you please. Um, and to do that, uh, let us speak on uh, perhaps the most popular scripture uh, in the Bible, uh, the Gospel of John chapter 3, verse 16. John chapter 3, verse 16. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. 
For God so loved the world that he gave. Now, when you're doing basics of preaching, you know that uh, the proof of the giving, of the loving was in the giving. So God so loved the world that he gave. So what did he give? He gave his only begotten son. He gave his only begotten son. Now that is very important to prove that he loved us he gave, and what did he give? He gave a person. Let me come again. To prove that he loved us, he gave. And what did he give? He gave a person. My friends, as we talk of Thanksgiving, we usually don't look at it in, in the context of people. When we talk of Thanksgiving, now uh, we talk of thanksgiving in the context of receiving things and uh, we receive healing and uh, we receive promotions at work and uh, we receive money and we receive wealth and uh, it, it, it's okay yes we thank god for that that is wonderful but seldom do we talk about thanksgiving in the context uh, that we were given a person um, that is why, uh, I don't know if you noticed when we started, I, I deliberately said, I thank God for you, Elder Mbinga, um, because uh, Elder Mbinga wouldn't be there for all these services that he has done for the body of Christ if God did not give us Elder Mbinga. Uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. For God so loved the world that he gave Elder Mbinga. For God so loved the world that he gave us you who is listening. So as we are talking Thanksgiving, we often forget of the gift of the person. We rush to thank the healing, but we often forget to thank God for the gift of the doctor who prescribed the healing. For God so loved the world that he gave. You see, my, my friends, the best form of gift is not a thing or a situation. The best form of a gift is a person. You have to understand, my friends, that God is a relational God. I'll repeat myself on that one. God is a relational God. When God gives all these other gifts, he gives them to us so that we may strengthen and deepen our relationships. Whatever, from whatever perspective you look at gifts that you receive, whether it's a, it's a situational gift or whether it's a healing gift or whether it's a physical gift or whether it's a spiritual gift, whatever. At the end of the day, if you break it down to the basics, you find that the gift is there to promote a relationship. Our God is, is a relation of God. That is why you find in the writings of Paul, um, the Bible saying God was reconciling himself to us through the person Jesus Christ. The reason he gives us Jesus Christ so that we can be reconciled to God is a relation of God. And the greatest form of gift is a person because it's in a person that we develop relationships. Having said that then my friends, we have to understand that as we give thanksgiving today, let us take this trajectory where we thank the Lord for persons, where we thank the Lord for people that he has placed in our lives. We're not just thanking the people, we are thanking God for the people that he has put in our lives. I'll speak, um, I, have, I have a friend, I have a friend who, who has been um, close to me for the past 24 years. We've been through thick, we've been through thin, we've been through so many things together as a friend. And I want to thank the Lord for my friend, not just to thank my friend for he has done so many things for me, but I want to thank the Lord for my friend. 
Because if the Lord had not given me that friend of mine, then I wouldn't be going, I wouldn't have managed to go through certain situations. It's that friend of mine who was able to guide me when, when days, on days where I was broke and empty. It's that friend of mine who was able to give me medicine when I was sick. It's that friend of mine. So today, I want to thank Lord, the Lord for that friend of mine. So Thanksgiving today, we are talking of thanking the Lord for the people that he has placed in our lives. We're saying, God, thank you. Thank you for my parents. Thank you. Thank you for my spouse. Thank you. Thank you for that colleague of mine who's able to cover, cover up for me even on days where I just can't perform. Thank you. Thank you for that friend of mine who will listen to the same complaint over and over and over again. Thank you, God, for bringing that person into my life. Thank you for that friend online whom we have never met, but he's always giving me encouragement and he's always sharing verses. Thank you. Thank you for that person who creates a platform like this one where we can tap and knuckle together and call upon the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for people. God so loved the world that he gave a person, a person. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Let me tell you something, my friends. Thanksgiving comes in levels. Um, uh, you know, if, 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 if you're speaking the street lingua of Pretoria, they'll tell you that uh, uh, you're talking of levels, you know, you're talking of levels. Even Thanksgiving comes in levels. And uh, let's quickly look at that, then we wrap up. Uh, number one, level number one, entry level. This is where you thank God for your substance. So it's Thanksgiving level one. You are thanking God for physical gifts. You are thanking God for money. You are thanking God for the house. It's like a little child thanking God for ice cream. That is entry level Thanksgiving. And I know a lot of us do, uh, do that uh, entry level Thanksgiving, and we have to do it because God is the one who provides these things. The thanking God for substance. I thank you, Lord, for the outfit. Hello, somebody. I thank you, Lord, for the nice heels and the matching bag. And I, I thank you, Lord, for the way I look. I went to church. I was feeling bad, but I was looking spanking good. Thank you. That is entry level number one of Thanksgiving. Then there's the level where you thank God for your achievements. Because it's God who works in you to achieve those things. You thank God for the degree. You thank God for the great work that you're putting in, in your workplace or in your business. You thank God for the promotion. You thank God for the great deal that has come through. That is the second level of thanksgiving. God has now done something through you and has enabled you to achieve certain things. That's the second level of thanksgiving. And, and a lot of us do that one as well. There are times it's even done uh, where you think, ah, is this person just thanking God or this person is just boasting to, to make us uh, you know, feel like, I just want to thank the Lord. Um, I, I finished my master's and I finished it cum laude. And uh, I finished it in record time. Usually such programs take two to three years, but I was able to do it in eight months. Oh. It was a tough eight months, but the Lord is good. And at times you think like, eesh, and the team never paid up grade 11. Eesh, now those of us who never even got a certificate, eesh. But, but <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's a form of thanksgiving. It's a thanksgiving for achievement. And we need to do that because God has to, remember what the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. So it's great thanksgiving, thanking the Lord for your achievements. Then there's a third level of thanksgiving, thanking God for healing. Oh, well, uh, we need this one. We need this one. We need this one. If ever there was a time that we needed to thank the Lord for healing, it's this time. Right now, as people listen to the sound of my voice, there are people who have practically, practically survived COVID. The same COVID that has claimed many of our loved ones, the same COVID that has claimed our friends, that same COVID, there are people who have survived it and they're giving thanks. That is thanksgiving for healing. 
entry level number three, thanksgiving for healing. The Lord has healed. So, some people have had conditions, heart conditions, and some have had diabetes, and some have had cancer, and some have had asthma, and some have had tuberculosis, and some have had all kinds of complications. You want to name them, but the Lord has been their healer. That is the third level of thanksgiving. We thank the Lord for healing. And at times, you will agree with me that healing is not just about your, your physical body. At times, it's mental healing. At times, the Lord just liberates your mind. And finally, you are free to live your life freely. You are healed emotionally. So we thank the Lord. That's entry level number three. Thanksgiving for the Lord's healing. Ah, and then we have, uh, we, we have thanksgiving for spiritual gifts. The only reason why this one is higher than the previous ones is because we're now in a domain where we're moving away from the physical. We're now dealing with the entirely spiritual. We thank the Lord for spiritual gifts. Um, the other time I was, I was talking to, to, to one of my directors um, and I say to him, um, everything that I have is because of the spiritual gifts that the Lord has given me. Uh, those who know, know that I'm an author. I've written nine books. Those nine books, that's a spiritual gift that the Lord gave me. Those who know me, know me as a speaker. I've spoken on different platforms right across the world. And who has given me that platform? It's the Lord who has given me that gift. There are some of you who have sung or you have preached or you have led in so many different formats. Some of you are working for the church right now. It's because the Lord gave you a gift. That spiritual gift is now a gift that is putting bread on your table. All right, so we thank the Lord for that gift. That's, that's another level of thanksgiving. Oh, my friends, there are so many levels of thanksgiving that we can go to. And that, that, that is why Paul says, we thank the Lord who has given us spirit, this spiritual gift. And we thank him who has seated us with Christ in heavenly places. We are here on earth, but we are seated with Christ in heaven. Why? Because he has given us a spiritual elevation. While well, physically we might look like we are low, but physically and spiritually we are at a higher level. There's, there's something about the world of spirits. So someday I'm going to preach on the world of spirits and you're going to understand how that goes. But we, we thank the Lord. We thank the Lord for the spiritual gifts that he places upon our lives. That's entry level number four. Now let's get to number five. Number five, that's where we thank uh, the Lord for persons. We thank the Lord for people. Why does this one come higher than the other one? Because this one now is not about you. You are thanking a, an outside force. You are thanking another person. We're thanking the Lord for the spiritual gifts he has given in another person. We're thanking the Lord for the goodness he has put in another person. So when we take talk of num level number five, we are talking of the goodness of the Lord through another person. Please, my friends, don't just thank God on Facebook when it's your anniversary. I want to thank the Lord for a lovely husband. I want to thank the Lord for a wife who has been with me for 25 years. No, it's good, yes. But you should be thanking the Lord for those people every single day. As you thank him for the gift of life, as you thank him for the things that's provided, as you thank him for the food, also thank him, thank him for the people he has placed in your life. Pray like this, Lord, I want to thank you for the food that we're about to eat. I want to thank you for the delicious meal. I want to thank you for this wife who has cooked a delicious meal. I want to thank you, Lord, for these children who are obedient while others are out there doing drugs. I want to thank you, Lord, for giving me these children in the name of Jesus Christ. And if it's you, the wife, I want to thank you, Lord, for this husband who's always providing. I want to thank you, Lord, for him being a pillar. Thank, Lord, for individuals. Don't wait till it's Mother's Day. Don't wait till it's Father's Day. Don't wait till it's a birthday. Thank the Lord for presence, for God so loved the world that he gave. And what did he give? He gave a person. There's a gift. There's a gift. There's a gift in a person. That, that's a great gift, a great gift. The gift of having someone you can WhatsApp in the middle of the night and talk to. The gift of someone you can tell all your troubles and you know they won't tell anyone. The only thing they'll do is support you and pray for you even when you're brought trouble upon yourself. 
even when the issue is your own sinfulness, there are some people who God has given us their gift to us, and they will not, not, not condemn us, but they'll be there to support us. They'll be there to pray for us. We thank the Lord for the gift of leaders who have guided this church in a very, very difficult time. When we can't meet, when we can't have proper fellowship, as we are just connecting virtually, they have guided us and given us hope. We thank the Lord for such people. We thank the Lord for preachers who have preached this gospel while they are going through things, while they are scared, while the houses are upside down, while situations are tough. We thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for musicians who have sung songs, sweet songs, solemn songs, uplifting songs. We thank the Lord. We thank him for people. Thanksgiving for people. And Father, my friends, as we wrap up, there's obviously the highest level where we thank the Lord for Jesus Christ. We thank the Lord for Jesus Christ. We thank the Lord for a person and that person is Jesus Christ. Because in Jesus Christ, we have the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Because in Jesus Christ, we now thank God himself. And when we're thanking, we're not saying anything. We're saying, God, I just want to thank you for being my God. Not because of the house you have given me. Not because of the promotion. Not because of the clothes. Not because of the gadgets. But I want to thank you for being you. I want to thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you for dying on the cross for me. But also thank you for just being you. Thank you for being Christ in me. The hope of glory. For God so loved the world that he gave and he gave a person so today as we thank the lord let us thank the lord for persons yes we will thank him for things yes we'll thank him for achievements yes we'll thank him for healing yes we'll thank him for spiritual gifts yes we'll thank him for people he has given us who have made this journey called life easier and yes, we'll thank him for himself. The mighty and awesome name of Jesus Christ, we pray. With thanksgiving in our hearts, we'll thank him because he's a relational God. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Just before we close, let us have a short, short, short word of prayer to thank God for people in our lives. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we want to thank you. We want to thank you for you. We want to thank you for the gift, the greatest gift of a person called Jesus Christ. We want to thank you for the gifts of people whom you have placed in our lives. People who have made our journey of life easier and bearable. The musicians sing and they tell us, no, no, it's not an easy road, but the road has been made easier because of people you have placed in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for these people. In the mighty and awesome name of Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving in our hearts. Sir. Amen and amen. Amen and amen.